Hi all, I'm Anshul Shah. I'm a PhD student at Johns Hopkins University. Today, I'll be presenting our work on self-supervised key step extraction and localization from unlabeled procedural videos. This is a joint work with Ben, Harpreet, and Rama. Prior work has shown how AR and VR can improve the efficacy of workers. A simple example is that of AR guides that can help operator learn during the flow of work by providing holographic instructions. Operators see exactly what needs to be done and where so that they can get the job done faster with fewer errors and greater skill retention. This relies on providing the workers with timely information and requires manually authoring a guide. In this work, we ask a fundamental research question. Can we automatically break down a complex task into its key steps? In the context of AR, this could involve steps based on how orientation changes, hand movements, use of particular tool, etc. In this work, we present a learning from observation style framework. We propose an intra-video SSL approach with novel losses. Training a light temporal head on pre-extracted features enables us to do fast training while allowing use of long temporal contexts. We extract key steps using a trained model using cluster and sample approach. Our approach is suitable for both vision derived and on device modalities. The first step in our pipeline involves extracting what we call raw features. These could be any off the shelf feature extractors like ResNets, VITs, or motion encoders from Raft, or even on device modalities like gaze, head pose, hand articulation, etc. The idea of adapting pre extracted off the shelf features enables us to effectively leverage SSL on extremely small datasets. Note that in our setup, this is an offline process. The objective of our model is to take the raw per frame features and adapt them so that these are useful for various downstream tasks. We propose to use a temporal encoder to capture long range temporal dynamics of the instructional video. We learn a separate encoder for each modality. The per modality raw sequences are input to the temporal model to generate a sequence of adapted per frame features. Ideally, we want to learn representations which place features corresponding to the same step close in the latent space. But without access to labels, a temporal consistency based loss has been shown to be helpful in past work. We use the CIDM loss to enforce temporal consistency. The first term forces positives within the window W to be close to the anchor, while this term forces the anchor to be far from negatives. In this work, we improve upon this loss in two ways. Instead of positives coming from RGB alone, we propose to use features from different modalities in the contrastive framework. This helps the model distill information from different modalities while still being able to do single modality inference. One issue with this loss is that the temporal window of positives need not be accurate since similar steps might repeat in the future. So we propose to augment the window. Since raw features are extracted from pre-trained models, they might already have some signal on what might be false negatives. We propose to compute pairwise distance of all raw features to the anchor and add them to the positive set if the distances lie within a threshold. Including our proposed fixes, the final loss looks as follows. We augment the positive set and apply CIDM loss on features extracted from multiple cubes. Now I'll discuss how to extract key steps. Once we train the models using the loss, we use it to obtain features for an input video. These are then clustered using an algorithm of choice. Next, we obtain cluster assignments and distance to cluster center for each step. Finally, we extract the required number of key steps from each cluster through sampling. Here, we qualitatively show key steps extracted for the task of assembling an IKEA drawer. We see that the extracted steps seem reasonable given the manual illustrations. And here we show the key steps for the task of replacing a printer cartridge where the data was captured using a HoloLens 2 device. Key step recovery is inherently ambiguous and there do not exist large scale annotated datasets with key steps for procedure learning. So we instead rely on proxies like key step localization. We see that our approach outperforms the baselines by large margin while using the same backbone and single modality inference. We also evaluated our approach for the task of face classification on the IKEA assembly dataset and pen actions and see similar improvements over prior works. In conclusion, we present steps, an approach for self-supervised representation learning and key step extraction for instructional videos. Please refer to the paper for additional details and results. We look forward to seeing you at the poster session on Thursday.